Hi guys, welcome back to my channel one more time. Today I am doing a makeup look for you guys and I'm using one of Jaclyn Hill's new makeup palettes with Morphe. I know she came out with four and she calls it the Vault Collection, but today I'll be using this baby right here. It's so beautiful. I love the look that I came up with. Um, it's this look right here. So if you guys would like to see how I get this look, then definitely just keep watching. Thanks guys. We're going to start out with the eyes and I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape. I personally like to do my eyebrows last. So you can definitely switch up that step if that's not your thing to do. You can either blend this out with your beauty blender or just with a flat brush like so. I usually like to go in with the brush just to get it evenly spread out. Today we're using the Jaclyn Hill um, collabing with Morphe for these palettes. I picked up, I want to pick up all three, but honestly, I'm like, am I going to use all three? I'll pick out the one that I'll use the most. And this one is the one that I thought I would use the most. The one, there was one that was completely sold out all the days that I went there. Um, so I just grabbed this one and it's called, this one is called Ring the Alarm. The packaging is honestly so beautiful. There's so many cute details on it. Um, like right here, it's so cute. It's like labeled on the side right here and you guys can't see both. Everything is just so detailed and it's the cutest thing ever. So we're going to use this palette today. It comes in like bubble wrap. Her palettes are just so beautiful. Look at that. Excuse the lights that just make it kind of off. So beautiful. And then we open it. Oh, and this thing falls. Just so beautiful. And I thought fall is coming and this palette would be perfect for fall. So I do have this palette by her. Um, and I'm planning to get all the other palettes too before they're not available anymore. But I just thought this one right now is my vibe. So I'm going to pick it up. And this is the one I picked up. They're only $15, you guys. I think that's such a crazy good deal for this for these palettes and she even has a good deal like on morphe's website where you can get the whole vault collection um and i think that's a great deal if you have the money if you don't i still think 15 dollars for one palette is great a palette you don't have anything to set your lids so i'm just gonna grab some translucent powder by airspun and just set my lids with that i personally do like to set my lids i know right now it's a thing to not set your lids but Girl, I got some oily eyelids, so I gotta set these things. The Vault Collection, all of the palettes do have a mirror, which she listened to the people, her subscribers, because they did want a mirror on it. So on her Jaclyn Hill palette, her big one, it didn't have a mirror. Um, so she did put a mirror on these littler ones. And honestly, it makes such a huge difference. And I love that there's a mirror in here. I'm going to try to use as many colors from the palette as I can. So I'm going to use Rush with a big fluffy brush like this. And I'm going to go like that back and forth and then I'm going to take this color into the outer V and then I'm also going to take this color in here now we're going to go in with alert it's the shade right here just I'm going to go in with a smaller brush and I'm just keeping this back and forth in my crease again. Just deepening up my crease. And then putting this on my outer V as well. And in my inner corner. I'm going to go into Mugshot, which is this shade right here. I'm taking a flat brush right now. I'm going to lay this where I want it and then blend it out with that smaller blending brush that I had. Get a little bit more precise, kind of just tapping it in my crease where I want it. And then in my outer V. And I just like to go back and forth, back and forth to blend the edges out. The same exact brush, this one, to go into the deepest shade, um, which is Secret. The outer V by tapping it first. I don't want to add too much. I want to go slowly. And I'm even wiggling my brush a little bit once I put it down, just to see how it looks. And then I'm bringing this into the crease. I'm trying to get every I'm trying to keep everything lower than what I put on before. I still want to keep everything nice and blended. Blend out these edges. You guys see like the halo effect? I tried to keep the shadow, the outer V, the inner V crease, 
and then we have this little part right here where you can put shadow sometimes what people do is they even put concealer in that middle piece um to just intensify the look aiming more for like these two and i might mix them i'm gonna go with on a camera with just my ring finger apply it in the center of the oh my gosh that is so pigmented apply it on the center of the eye and i drag mine up a little bit higher because my crease is there just with like a small precise brush I'm going with this one and that one right there i go right on the edges and just blend that out using my favorite liner ever which is the nyx matte liquid liner Okay guys, so I'm using these lashes by Kiss and my favorite things to do with the lashes is just stack them on each other. You go and get natural looking lashes, stack them, and then I like to apply them on my lash to make it more dramatic. Excuse my children. Yes, and see, this is what the lashes look like before and this is what they look like after you stack them on each other. There, you just look so dramatic and fluffy and wispy. Guys, so we have our crazy lashes on. Now I'm going to moisturize, prep my face. This is a beauty booster and it's hyaluronic acid. This is why I don't do my eyebrows, you guys, because literally my forehead is so tiny I can't put anything up there without messing up my eyebrows. I'm going to go in with this All May 5-in-1 Correcting Primer. I just use this to spot prime, if that even makes sense. But I like to put it on my nose, on my forehead, and into... Kind of like my eyebrow area this is where i get the mo most oily today i'm using the maybelline superstay stick foundation um i love these stick foundations the only thing that i hate about them and that i don't like about them is that they literally give you little to no product you go through this so fast i hate the blender too on the end i don't use that at all this is in the shade honey i'm gonna go in with my beauty sponge This is a little too orange for me. <laughs> I'm gonna look like an Oopa Loopa today. Okay, I'm just gonna try going with a brush. I'm blending it in. Yeah, I think I like it better with a brush. I've lost my tan a little bit. If y'all can't tell by this Oompa Loompa face right now, I am going to mix um, two concealers. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Sand and the Tarte Shape Tape in me Medium Tan Sand. So I'm going to put the lighter one towards like my nose and towards like the bags of my eyes. I'm putting it on my nose. My chin, a little bit on my forehead. And I'm taking the medium tan sand and just going right over it, really, to lighten all of this up. I'm gonna just blend it out with my beauty blender. I have a mixture in this. This one was empty, I was all done with it, but I just put a mixture of the airspun translucent powder and then makeup revolution. Just mix both of them. I'm gonna set my face with this Neutrogena Skin Clearing Mineral Powder in Tan 80. I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. I'm gonna take this bronzer side right here. I like it because it's a little bit more neutral, it's not too orange. And I'm already looking a little orange, so we're hoping this will help that Oompa Loompa face, okay? Just gonna go underneath that bronzer. We let this sit on my chin. I'm gonna work on my eyebrow. I have my eyebrows on guys, okay? I'm gonna use, this is not a highlighter, this is actually a blush, I believe. Or no, this is a shimmer bronzer, and it has this little cube of 
like a pinky shade, a bronze, a bronzer, and then it has these two really pretty, beautiful, shimmery shades that I have been in love with. I'm going to take a little bit of those two. This is by Hikari. Hikari. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm going to take a little bit of this Wet n Wild. Just, we'll just tone it down because honestly those are too dark for me right now. And I just go in with my finger and I just put them on my cheeks. For the middle of my face to highlight, I'm just going to use the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder and it's in Golden Flower Crown. That was weird. I was like... <laughs> Now I'm going to finish this off with a setting spray. This is the Long Wear Hard Candy um, 12 Hour Long Wear and Hydration Spray. Mugshot on my lower lash line. So I'm going to use the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Dallas. Okay guys, so that is it for this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't to my channel yet. Don't forget to click the notification bell. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye guys.